With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. Question says, a uniform disk of mass M in the radius R is pivoted smoothly at the center of the mass. This is the center of, the center of mass of this disk. A light spring of stiffness K is attached to the disk tangentially as shown in a figure this uh, spring is uh, tangentially to the disk find the angular frequency in radian per second of torsional oscillation of this disk take m is equals to 5 kg and value of k is 10 newton per meter so this is the uh, disk pivoted at point uh, center of this disk or you can say center of mass and the spring is uh, with stiffness k is tangentially attached with the disk and another end is fixed with the pole right now so if we see that the tangential this way right so this is the uh, axis right so if we disturb the uh, uh, currently this uh, disc is in equilibrium right so if we disturb the equilibrium position of this disc right so if we disturb this by an angle of delta theta a small angle then the, this uh, spring compressed by a distance of delta l right and due to the compression of the spring there is a force exerted by on this disc by the spring is delta f right now so from this we can write that delta l we can write that delta l is equals to r the radius of this disc into the change in the theta right which is delta theta right and this force delta f is the restoring force of this spring right so we can write that delta f is equals to the k into the length by which the spring compressed to so that length is delta L. So from this we can write that delta F is equals to K R delta theta, right? Now, so this force is the uh, restoring force about the center of this disc, right? So from this the torque produced is, the torque restoring is minus of delta F into R, right? So from this we can write that torque restoring torque is equals to minus of delta f delta f is k dot r delta theta into r so we can write that restoring force torque is equals to minus of k r square delta theta where the restoring torque is i the moment of inertia about the center of the disc into alpha the angular acceleration is equals to minus k r square delta theta right now the moment of inertia about the center of the disc is it's m r square by 2 right r is the radius of the disc into alpha is equals to minus k r square delta theta so from this this r and r is cancel out r square so we can write that alpha is equals to minus 2 k by m delta theta right and we know that alpha is equals to alpha is equals to minus omega square theta right omega is the angular frequency so when we compare these two equation we can write that omega square is equals to 2k by m right so from this we can write that omega is equals to under root of 2k by m. Now the question the value of k is given as 10 and the mass is 5 kg. So we can write that under root of 2 into 10 by 5 we can get this as under root of 4. So from this we can write that omega we get angular frequency is 2 radian per second. So this is our required answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.